YouTube. This is Sergio, and today I decided to record a small first impression video about new solution just announced for Gathering Storm, and I'm pretty excited with it. And I haven't done anything like this before, but for Ottomans. I think I should record. Suleiman leads the Ottomans Suleiman. in Civilization VI, Gathering Storm. He is commonly referred to as Suleiman the Magnificent and personally led conquests to expand his empire while instituting societal reform. Suleiman's unique ability is Grand Vizier. This unlocks a unique governor, Ibrahim, with his own unique promotion tree. First, and very interesting thing about Ottomans is unique governor. Great idea, and I think it should be extended to other thieves, uh, like one or two extra thieves with their unique governors. Will be very interesting to play with because idea is great, but I don't know how. Uh, other ships were redesigned for Gathering Storm expansion, they were, but as governors, by the way, all governors uh, were mastered and very interesting to use them and some new promotions, some were reorganized and uh, switched between governors and <coughs> So let's return to Ibrahim. It takes only three turns to establish, and as said, it's military and uh, diplomacy focused governor. First and uh, basic uh, ability plus 20% production to all military Three. units. Awesome, really awesome. It makes him number one choice, uh, even. It overcomes even Magnus because Magnus plus 50% uh, for chopping in Gathering Storm will, no, will not stack with civics like maritime industries or a gauge, so there will be no crazy overflow chops in the game. Finally, after two years, uh, Phyrexis decided to remove this ability, which was <coughs> very widely used by pro players, really. So let's back, get back. Plus 20 production. This will stack uh, with a gauge, so actually there will be 20 plus 50 overall plus 70 production in the early game for mi military units, for all military units, so a gauge or a maneuver uh, as I remember for cavalry, great. And It makes him very powerful and very dangerous in the early game. Let's quick look. Friendly. Yeah, this came from Victor, as I remember. Uh, this ability plus 10 comma strength within 10 tiles of the city center. When attacking defensible districts, it means city center and encampment very powerful ability very powerful because melee units uh, basic like swordsman and musketman have promotion for attacking districts and plus 10 also but for all districts not only defensible combined with this very strong again melee units now very strong against cities just incredibly strong even without great general it 
they will get plus 20 combo strength it's it's a lot and later I will talk about unique unit and in medieval and renaissance era these guys will be very dangerous now there is something interesting we can read when established in an allied foreign capital alliances leveling rate is increased so this guy it will be said a little bit later is the only one can be put in other players capital or another city but there is no sense to put it in some other cities just because all bonuses come from capital grievances it's new mechanics like uh, diplomatic approval or disapproval so diplomatic disapproval will be reduced I can say I don't know how it will work but as I understood from streams it like uh, approval and disapproval but it's now a currency grievances and it can be accumulated spent exchanged and some sort of so it uh, should give more flexible diplomacy but we will take a look and the last ability really strong for late game it may be not so important as in early game when loyalty is a problem when you get in your first or next cities uh, near the capital near the enemy capital because capital have very high loyalty pressure on all other cities and <coughs> this ability Uh, just give uh, you, the player, the ability to take cities like in very early civilization where were there <laughs> where was not a loyalty system at all. You just grab it and it's yours. So it returns to these times, unique governor with maximum promotions so one to three promotions uh, should be spent for this and but uh, I think uh, it's it's worse every promotion is very powerful in military it's very very powerful let's take a look what's next. he's the only governor that can be established in another civilization yeah, yes, and can be a major player in diplomacy I wish it also unlocks the Janissary, Suleiman's unique unit. Suleiman's this musket man unit. replacement is... Alright. This unit, as said, is cheaper than musket man. Yes, in terms of production it's much cheaper. But it still requires a lot of strategic resource. As you see here on the screen, the player at turn 144 has only 28 units of nitre as i remember it uh, will every mine on strategic resource will give you plus two of this resource per turn so 20 nitre it's really a lot and I don't think it's fair to say that it's cheaper than musket man. I don't know how many nitre and production will cost musket man. Much more production as I remember, uh, about 200 or something. But if musket man will require less nitre, it will be more effective I think. But uh, it's unique unit, so no musket man for Ottomans. And another thing uh, about this unit, it's uh, medieval, or I don't know, 
or Renaissance uh, doesn't matter. These units very rarely built themselves. I only build these guys uh, to fill my corpse because about nearly about this time I get ability to make corpses so and I produce extra musket men or units that I need to just add them to my uh, upgraded and promoted experienced units from the very early game and I was the my thought is about that f from very early game uh, these units are not built they are promoted and it really much cheaper to promote to these guys and this makes very interesting gameplay for Ottomans because if you promote and as said here and said later in this video it consumes a population every trained unit consume a population if it's trained in your own city if it's trained in a city that you conquered it doesn't consume a population but when it's upgraded I think it also doesn't consume any population and this makes Ottomans very very strong in the middle game because 60 melee strength when upgraded they I think uh, they will not get a free promotion but they already will be promoted and this plus 5 combo strength mm, looks like a little but we remember about the unique governor that will add some more power to these guys and I can say they're looking pretty cool so but even production is stronger is and cheaper, cheaper to build and starts with a free promotion but, but it consumes a, a population in the city in which resources. it is trained unless it is trained in a conquered city the Ottomans unique building is the Grand Bazaar it replaces the bank in the commercial hub and this is a real candy I can think because this building when you go for domination and I think Ottomans are created for domination games this building is must have when you're going for a war because army is very expensive and extra great merchant points are very good and another thing about banks uh, that's why they are much more effective than stock exchanges they can be boosted by city-states so building a market and a bank in every commercial hub is must-have especially if you go for domination and this unique building Grand Bazaar is awesome because it accumulates one strategic resource that's very very important and extra amenities for every luxury resource in this city this makes uh, these buildings very strong when you go for domination because when you conquer enemy city their banks will automatically upgrade into grand bazaars like it always happens uh, when you conquer another player's city and if you have some unique buildings they are built uh, I not <laughs> not built they changed so banks in every conquered city will be changed into Greek Grand Bazaar and from the first turn you own this city you start getting extra strategic resources that's very important and amenities will not be an issue actually because 
I think every city usually have one or two luxury resources and they improved AI or other players improves uh, like improving strategic and luxury resources and so when you conquer a city it has no loyalty problems and penalties because of low amenities or, wo or high war awareness and it starts to accumulate you a lot of strategic resources I think that there will be some civic that will ge give you extra strategic resource production because it should be and as I remember England was redesigned and England has uh, as unique ability extra strategic resource generation per on every mine it looks like on every mine so it doesn't apply to horses on an oil but and speaking about oil in late game extra oil will be very very valuable because you will need oil to fuel your plants to produce electricity and more important in late game you will need a lot of oil to fuel your tanks to fuel your armies of tanks because they will consume oil every turn its maintenance cost added to the gold so having extra oil generation is very important in late game and this and adds extra amenities and strategic resources that are available in that city their unique unit is the Barbary Corsair. This naval raider replaces the privateer, but can be built earlier. Also, coastal raids have no movement cost for this unit. The Ottoman's unique ability... Alright. And... Let's talk about everything and about the unique naval unit. I'll talk a little bit later. So... Grand Vizier, unique governor, very strong, very powerful guy, and very flexible, I can say. And it will be used in every game. It is the first governor you should hire. Not the Magnus, not other guys, just this guy. Because now oh, he has a promotion from Victor that adds plus 5 combo strength to every unit on city range so it now and defensible also defensible two defensible unit uh, governors all right and that was not covered in the video just yet great turkish bombard excellent ability plus 50 production to our siege units and extra compass range to all siege units. This is nice and really good addition because conquered cities can lose about half of their population. And this is becoming a problem when you get a lot of cities and you just need to wait before they will restore their normal population to start producing new units because you will need them to make your genissaries if you are going to make them make in the foreign cities not your own not that you have uh, found it only that you have conquered and this is a great synergy by the way city do not lose population city do not lose loyalty or amenities because of all this and it immediately start producing you your unique units nice mid-game synergy Firaxis great job and this is very powerful because it's unique there is no civic in the game that boosts production of siege units and this guy can make a lot of and can't make a lot of bombards he can make them fast and this stuff 
I think will be stacked with Magnus so probably 100% of production per siege units you are welcome and extra combo strength great it's like a free promotion especially in early game when you have catapults if you use them plus 5 it's a lot plus 5 to bombard or artillery not too much but still good cities not founded yes as I thought as I talked previously plus 1 amenity plus for loyalty extra amenity from Grand Bazaar so conquered city will be happy they will be really happy to join the Ottoman Empire and the last thing is Beverly Corsair unique medieval era unit that replaces privateer cost no movement on coastal raid and about raids like uh, developers said in their last stream I guess they finally redesigned pillaging in the game now it will give you more and more uh, as you go through errors it's like uh, or maybe even like resources when you harvest resources every several turns yields are increased so the same thing with pillaging in middle game and in late game now you can grab a lot of free culture science or gold just from pillaging districts and <coughs> now uh, raid units especially naval raid units are becoming very dangerous also I should mention that in gathering storm I think coastal cities uh, will not be the favor not be the first choice for players because just because of climate change now they can be flooded from sea they were vulnerable for attacks from in in first sea and all expansions so players are uh, usually were settling not on cost but at least one tile from the coast to be safe from sea attacks and now it's even more uh, I can say less options for settling on a cause because you can be <laughs> pillaged you can be flooded you can be easily attacked so now it's it tends to be settling in land more safely for the players especially if you play against other people but overall I can say about Ottomans it's a great militaristic civilization Very it's great easy. Turkish bombard they can construct siege units really, much faster said, and all siege units like receive additional combat strength. Conquered cities do not lose population and benefit from amenity and loyalty bonuses while under Ottoman control. Just go and grab a city and you have no loyalty problems and now with these guys you even don't have any amenity problems if it's a late game because banks will be automatically changed in grand bazaars and they will give extra amenities and extra strategic resources so very powerful sieve very powerful all right guys thank you for watching this was my first impression Bye.